When you're an infectious disease doctor, you have to play like a, like a detective. Basically, you have to put the puzzles together. You have to get a very detailed history to, to go like to get an answer. I was exposed to all subspecialties, but this one is the one that, that caught my attention since the beginning. I was born in Lima, Peru. I was inspired to pursue medicine because of my mom. So she only practiced for three years and originally she wanted to become a doctor, but because of their circumstances, she couldn't. Despite not being a doctor, she had a vast knowledge of medicine. So since I was little, I was exposed to everything she knew. As soon as I graduated, I prepared for a year. I applied to medical school and I entered medical school. Uh, so yes, it was definitely because of my mother. During my last years of medical school is when I decided I wanted to do my residency training in, um, in America. Since I was in medical school, I remember I always wanted to be an infectious diseases physician. Infectious disease basically is the subspecialty that specializes in, uh, in all the diseases caused by a pathogenic organism. And it could be a bacteria, a virus, fungi, you name it. Working at Memorial has been a wonderful experience. Everyone has been so supportive and helpful. I'm blessed to have to work with this group of people of nothing but like being grateful for it. <laughs> when I meet a new patient, I always introduce myself. Then I start asking him like simple questions so that he can feel more relaxed. And I always uh, reassure the patient that whatever information he gives me, it's gonna stay between him and I. And when you're an infectious disease specialist, you have to get delicate information. So that's why we have to make the patient trust us. Sometimes we have to ask questions that can make them feel you know, uncomfortable. When you're treating a patient, you always have to put yourself in their shoes. I will treat this person as if it was my relative, my dad, my mom. The best part is when you finally come up with, the, with a treatment plan. In many instances, they are desperate and they are always telling us that, you know, I just want to have a normal life. And when you finally, you know, have an answer, when you finally see that their symptoms and they start to feel better and they are like, thank you so much, doctor, I feel so much better. That's one of the most rewarding parts of being an infectious disease doctor.